Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of my vlog where I am trying to um, well I just figured I'd update y'all on the house and what I've been doing it's been a minute since I've had these episodes out so let's figure it out I'm in Dallas we drove down here about two days ago we've been um, well we came to get those uh, we got two queen and one twin sleep number beds i8s um, I actually haven't slept in it yet. I slept in one downstairs last night, but um, I'm trying to figure out my number. So this is at 50% and uh, last night I slept in um, 40, no, 40% I think. I had a little, I don't know. I feel good, no back pains, but I feel like I'm missing something. Let me get some light in here. There we go. So, too much light. There you go. So, yeah, so what I wanna show you is I got a new shelf from this local store called, um, oh, it's in uh, it's in Cedar Hill, Texas. Um, kinda like a family owned store, very good. Um, so, uh, I'll put their card up in the video now if I remember. It's like Gucci. It's, it's not Gucci. I know that's a big name brand, but it's something similar to that. Um, and I got this glass shelf with them. And I've already started putting my uh, like my collectible stuff in it. My Hasbro Hotel, my Hell and Boss things. I've got all of my pops. You know, all sorts of pops. A lot of gold ones. I put the gold ones kind of in the middle all these pops per uh, Simba back there is hiding because he wasn't um, perfect so he just kind of got thrown back there that's a shield I made as a child in a Scottish um, a Scottish uh, like um, festival that super loud so that's my AC vent and it's I'm gonna need to figure out how to fix that because that's way too loud. It goes into this closet here. My AC is in here and this closet's freezing. That tiny vent up there makes this closet freezing. But yeah, that's loud if you can hear it. Very loud. And this actually flooded uh, yesterday. I think because it had a bad filter. It was, um, it just it froze and it was, you can kind of see the water damage around there. And it went underneath into that uh, air vent and it was gnarly. Also, we had a big mess. I don't know if I have a picture of it. If I do, I'll stick it on. But we had a big mess in here, my bathroom, where a bunch of like old insulation or something came out and made a huge mess here and in the closets. So, yeah. I need to get rid of that. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I need to get rid of it, paint over it or something. Um, so I was, I was sitting in here in my room thinking I'm about to leave town. I'm about to go to, uh, where am I going? I'm going to Cincinnati, Kentucky, which is, Cincinnati is like half Kentucky, half Idaho, I think. <laughs> I'm going to go see Serpent's Mound. Um, then, so I'm flying in to do that tonight. I'm sleeping, I'm getting up, I'm doing it. And then when I, uh, so tomorrow I'm going to go see Serpent's Mount. I'm also going to leave tomorrow to go to, well, I have tickets to go to two places. I'm either going to uh, Washington, D.C. or I'm going to Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> say that ten times fast. Um, but I think I'm going to Boston, and I'm going to Boston to go climb Mount Washington, uh, aka the Wright Mountain, where there's a lot of uh, quartz up top. I can, I might videotape some of that. And then we're going. I have tickets to that. And then we're going. I don't have tickets yet because I'm figuring out how to get there. But we want to go see uh, Niagara Falls in Buffalo, New York. And so the, I see there's two ways to do that. We either go, we take Amtrak train from Boston to 
uh, New York City, uh, Penn Station. We you know do something in New York, and then we take LaGuardia to Buffalo the next day. Or we take a 12-hour overnight Amtrak train from uh, Boston to Buffalo, uh, which could be fun. I'm going to see which one we want to do. And then we fly from Buffalo to New York. Ultimately, I need to be in New York like five or six days from now for a doctor's appointment. And then we fly home. And we're just, I'm just trying to fill in those five days uh, of activities. So that's why we're just doing some all over the place going all over the place doing crazy things um but so i might recur some of that that might be part of this episode we'll find out in the meantime yeah so pops a lot of this stuff came with the house i think was in a previous video i'm thinking of so i took it apart to try to fix these screws a bit so i'll put it back together if i can find the screws i put the screws on that thing and now they're gone so I might need to get new screws or something, we'll find out. But I'll put that together. I'm thinking maybe like putting it here. Maybe to block that vent, maybe some of the noise while I'm sleeping. I think it'll also look kind of nice to be kind of like right there and maybe have something. I'm thinking maybe getting another one of those, putting it there. But that might be a little overkill. I have a massive hat collection. Uh, so everything in that box and everything in that box is um and everything in that box so i have three large boxes of caps caps like this like so like this is an israel uh cap with the flag and there's our hell of a boss stuff matter of fact hell of a boss stuff can go on that shelf so i travel the world and everywhere i travel i try to collect a You see, I got a Aspen Hotel, hell of a boss. Uh, I travel the world and I try to collect caps with the flag on it and the name of the country if possible. Um, sometimes I'm able to do that. Sometimes I'm unable to do that. If I were just, but I do have a lot of caps. I also have some gifts and things. See, there's an Ireland cap, Sedona, Arizona. I'm at Washington, New Hampshire. I'm going here, so I got a cap. Harley, some caps. Um, a chorus. Yeah, I don't know. This is a bad example. Oh, here's one from from Russia, which doesn't have the flag on it, but I got that from a street vendor when I went to Russia. A lot of Harley caps there. There's a. Here's one of my favorite ones. My uh, Italy one. I love right caps. I like right. You can kind of see some flags there. Anyway, guys, got some Oregon captain hat. So, ooh. in my other house, what I did was I nailed it. I took um, tacks and I had like 50 of them on my wall. Just, you know, just an entire like three rows of caps across the whole wall. I'm thinking of doing that here, but up there. So I'm like caps here, maybe like kind of in that section. I think that could be a fun thing. Because I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my desk. I want like a corner desk right here. Uh, I'm, if it'll fit, I want to make sure I have enough gap to walk through here. Uh, I want to put a monitor here and there's a plug right there. So this should work out pretty well. A corner desk. Have like, you know, uh, have like a workstation here and a monitor here and so when I do video game stuff this will be my webcam and so you can see like the collectibles you can see the caps you can see my bed I want to get a, a, a frame and I can like decorate this area here I think that'll be fun I'm also thinking what I want to do with the TV so I'm a little at a loss of that because I want to watch TV in here too I mean I don't have to I mean I could just go down the hallway and go watch that TV with my new stressless chairs but you know I'm trying to be self sustainable in here I I hate that so I have this whole room in here like this is a pretty small room I mean it's, it's a very large closet but it could be a small room 
and I have like this perfect place for a desk and it's like man if I could like I could put like a, a couch here and have like TV there or anything but there's no power outlets in this whole closet you know, like there's a power outlet in this closet, which is too small for me to do anything. One right there. But there isn't a power outlet in that closet. And it bugs me. Because I'm like, I'm trying to squeeze everything into this room. I'm not used to having such a small space to work with. And of course, you know, outside. But, um... I might look into seeing if I can get a power outlet in that closet and seeing if I can turn it into a uh, some type of office, maybe have another computer in there, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But right now, I wanna look at desks. Right now, I want a corner desk here. I wanna put a monitor here, maybe like a TV here, a small one, so I can sit down in my chair and watch TV and I can have my gaming set up here and my work desk here, like school, uh, handwritten stuff there computer stuff there this i'm eventually going to get fixed i have a company in mind that does uh, that remodels bathrooms and kitchens and i want to remodel all the bathrooms and the kitchen in this house i'll see if i can also get them to redo this so there's a mini fridge there that didn't work we tore it out tearing it out broke everything well we had to break everything to tear it out and what I want to do since I have now have this is I want to get rid of it and I don't want to sink here at all so I want them to just you know cap out this all this plumbing because this is just water leak potentials that I don't need <laughs> so I want to get rid of it or yeah yeah I want to get rid of it and I want to add a mini fridge back to it but a new one and I want this to be like a workstation. I want to have like drinks and um, uh, food and things. I want this to be like my like mini bar here, so that I can be like, you know, I can be sitting here playing games. And I can just slide on over here to the mini bar. I want to put soundproofing across here just to decorate the wall. Uh, maybe blue and black or red and black. We'll see. Overall, I uh, getting excited. But anyway. There's your little update on just my room, what I'm thinking of, and uh, I might see you in a Serpent's Mound in uh, close to Cincinnati, Kentucky. <laughs> we'll find out. We're flying out in a couple of hours, so um, I'll see you there.